At the search for a driver who damaged the local church before taking off. It happened in Attleboro, and as News Center 5's Frank Holland shows us, the damage to the building did not stop today's services. A house of worship damaged in a hit and run. It sounded like a big crash boom. Eric Martin was walking his dog Dexter just after one on Saturday morning when he saw a pickup truck speeding down Richardson Avenue. He says it did not appear the driver even slowed down before the stop sign at the intersection of Pleasant Street right in front of Faith Alliance Church. When he went across the street and hit the curb, it was sparks everywhere. Went airborne about three feet in the air, then landed, went down the hill, and then hit the church. Like most Christmases. A special holiday service this Sunday, despite the damage, church leaders giving us these pictures of the aftermath before it was all patched up. Pastor Jeff White counting his blessings. The damage was not more severe. And the, the major parts, they missed the gas uh, meter and all that. And so if there had been an ignition or a spark in that, we would have had a huge problem. Police are now searching for a blue Toyota pickup truck. They believe it's a Tundra model. By this encounter with an angel, the pastor says the members of Faith Alliance are praying for whoever committed this hit and run. I don't know the person's heart. I don't, I don't believe it was intentional. Police are still searching for the driver who hit the church. Anyone with any information is asked to call police. Here in Edinburgh, Frank Holland, WCVB, New Center 5.